Okay, so I, I'm managing a project called Jeff Satoyama Project. That's the um, initiative that tried to promote um, the conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity into public policy and programs. I think in the rural areas hold the key to sustainable development in many parts of the world. Uh, that's as people population increases, uh, the people need more space, and that's where um, the people and wildlife, people and nature need to s share space. And the rural feature that um, rural futures that uh, synergize those people's activities and the nature's um, system uh, is really the way to go for the future. It is important way because that's that's the area that people uses, and all, at the same time, the nature there is providing services that sustains people's livelihood. Okay, I'd say that this has been a remarkable and very enriching two days. Um, there's a lot of. Um, thinking, deep thinking and different thinking is going on um, and I learned a lot and um, the conversation like this uh, it really diversifies the discussion and the discourse that takes, on, um, that takes place around biodiversity and sustainable use. Uh, so it's, it's, it's really remarkable that, that things taking place here. Um, it's, it's saying it's the relationship between people and nature and how uh, people think about that relationship. So this, the forum like this is important because it's, it's a unique opportunity that people thinking about the same thing and then working on the same issue come together and exchange their views. Um, the things that are successful, successful or not successful, uh, they can exchange those views and then come to um, create new ideas. I enjoy the most about the way, particularly the Indian people, think about the um, relationship um, between people and nature. It's, it's very, very different uh, from what I had been thinking, and it's, it's very deep thinking going on there. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.